Jesus Christ and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is A Test in the Desert. Jesus is te tempted. Let's read. God's Spirit led Jesus into the desert. He had nothing to eat for 40 days and nights. After that, Jesus was very hungry. So Jesus got the test from God. And God's Spirit led him into the desert. And he didn't eat nothing and only prayed. For 40 days and nights, so Jesus was very, very hungry, but he didn't even have water. <laughs> and knowing that Jesus was hungry, Satan tempted him. He pointed to the rock and said, If you're the Son of God, tell this rock to be a, become a bread. So when Jesus was so hungry, and Satan knew that. So Satan has gone to Jesus and said, Wait, he was tempting Jesus. He has pointed the rock and said, Wait, If you're the Son of God, you can make the rock send to the bread. Jesus answered Satan using God's word from the Bible. It's not just bread that keeps you up alive. He said their lives also depend on what God says. So Jesus answered to Satan with Bible words that the people doesn't live with only with bread. So Jesus didn't tempt it by the Satan. Like Satan was kind of going to tempt Jesus, but Jesus didn't. Like it is a very hard thing, you know. Like Jesus can make the stones into the bread, but what? Also, he didn't eat for forty days and night, even water. Next, Satan took Jesus to the top of the temple. If you're the Son of God, jump off. The scripture says that God's angel will rescue you. So, witness Satan has took Jesus on the top of the temple. Like, in the temple, like, you can see the things, yeah. And yeah, Satan was saying the Bible words. But in the scripture, there. In the scripture, say that God's angel will rescue you if you jump off. Let's see what Jesus will do. Did Jesus turn rock into the bread when he was hungry? No. Jesus has said in the Bible where it's in like Satan has gone in now. Satan came again. <laughs> so Jesus used the word to give his second answer. Do not put the Lord your God uh, to the test. 
he said quite thing again from the Bible. So Jesus used the Bible word and he said like do not put your Lord your God to the test again with the Bible word. Like you can see that <laughs> We have found the Bible town. Finally, Satan took Jesus to a mountain. He showed him all the words, kingdoms, and will. This can be yours, he said, if you bow down and worship me. So Satan said to Jesus, like, you have God on the mountain, or in on the mountain, God and Jesus can see all of the people and like cows or something like that, because it is a high place. And like Satan was like pointing it, you if you bow down to me, you can have there, there, you can have all of these if you just bow down to me. Satan tempted Jesus to jump out. Dash saying, Angel will rescue him. Number 3. The Temple. Go away, Satan. Jesus commanded. Then he <coughs> quote God's word on more, one more time. For it is written Worship the Lord your God. And serve him only. So, like, Satan said, like, you can have all of these. Like, there and there, you can have all of these if you just bow them to me. But Jesus commanded. And God, he said, worship the Lord, your God, and serve him only. Again, Jesus didn't have it by the, by the Satan. Oh, I will do it. Watch it go. Jesus must be like very hungry yet. As soon as Jesus said that, Satan left him. Then, angel came and cared for him. Jesus had faced the temptation and haven't sin, not even once. So like when Jesus was living, he didn't like sin just like once like not Jesus has sin not even once. So an angel came and help Jesus to rest. Question: When Satan tempted him, Jesus quoted God's word from the Bible and never sinned. True. Yes, today at the Bible story to enjoy. Then next time I'll read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye.